I've been pumping at this for two hours and eight minutes. There's something wrong. It's not holding air. Look at that. What did that? That's not a clean cut. That's like an abrasion tear. Well, I just got off the phone with customer support. They're gonna send me a new one to start it tomorrow. I'm gonna ship back that old one and we're gonna try this again in a few days. All right, Bo just sent me a replacement dock. Let's go give this another try. Back to the river. All right, we're back. And this time our raft doesn't have a hole in it. At least not yet. One lesson I learned last time is that the electric pump is worth every penny. All right, while the raft is inflating, me and the boys are looking for Helgamites and crawdads and we're just having a ball. And check this out, I found the biggest Helgamite ever. It is so creepy. Look at that. That thing is massive. Look at the size of him. Oh, it's like the critter from Wrath of Khan. Oh, there's a dead one. Look at that. I just found that. Daddy, oh, he's Daddy. big enough to eat. Daddy, do you know this Helgamite must have ate that? Hey, Jake, are you having fun? I'm already seeing bass and some really big sucker fish. We got some bait. We might be doing a catch and cook video here a little bit later. This push is easy. All right, guys, you ready to do this? Yeah. All right, we're gonna go spend the next two days on this river and I am excited. Oh. Whoa. All right, you guys ready for this? Yeah. All aboard. Uh -oh. All right, we're doing this. This thing handles like a dream. It is so easy to maneuver. It bends a little bit, but this thing is rock solid. Is this fun? Yeah. This is so cool. Are you gonna, are you gonna paddle us? We got Huck Nate and Tom Nickel. So this pole I'm using to push is 16 feet long. It's just a couple two by twos where I've taken a table saw and I've ripped the corners off them to make it kind of like a, what, an octagon or whatever. And uh, we just couple them together with a piece of two inch PVC pipe, screw right through the middle to keep it together. And this is my push pole. And just in case it breaks, I've got another one right there as a backup. I've floated this river a couple of times without the boys on storage bin rafts that I made. They're really similar in design to the floating fishing cabin we made a couple months ago. Uh, that's an awesome video if you haven't seen that, by the way. I'm gonna pull out the, uh, the fishing rod real quick. Whenever I get a little downtime between steering, I'm trying to do some fishing. If we catch uh, something decent, we'll do a little uh, catch and cook tonight. The wind's blowing it. <laughs> a little breeze kicked up and it actually blew us upstream about 15 feet. This thing is so light on the water, it just gets pushed around really easy. Well, the wind's pushing against the current a little bit, but if I sit down, it seems to cut our profile enough where uh, we head back downstream. <laughs> Nathan, you're getting good at that. That's because I was practicing. That Turn would be awesome. And then it, and then it this raft is only eight inches thick, and we're not even halfway submerged. So we, we got less than four inches of draft on this thing. We can go shallow. There we go, we got some rapids. The handle. <laughs> Grab the handles. That was wicked. Hey Thomas, what do you think about going over your first waterfall? <laughs> when I saw that waterfall, it was like second fun. I don't want to come on this trip. I made a huge mistake. Well, guys, I hope you like that because we're going to be going down some even bigger rapids here in a little bit. We're going to go through the squeeze, a little class three action for us. Well, it is a beautiful 85 degrees today and Nathan wants to go swimming. So off he goes. Hey. Ah! <laughs> Here, here. Is the water cold? 
Yeah. Wait, you did not pee. Why don't you just jump in? <laughs> no. Oh. No, no. <laughs> oh, dead body. One of the things I've learned from experience is that you don't ever put the pole downstream, okay? Because you shove it into the rocks and it gets stuck or you don't move it quick enough, the raft runs it over. It'll, it'll pull the pole out of your hands or it'll snap the pole. You always push to the side or upstream. It turns out if you just lay down on the ground and do nothing, that then the wind can't push the boat as much. It's right, we're trying it. All right, you ready? Yeah! Yeah! It's a fall fish! No, Look! Kids can have food. We caught dinner! Here, oh, oh, we got off! We got off! We got off! I got him! Oh, I got him! Woohoo! Another fall fish! They could have popped this! Well, we put in some good miles, but we need to start thinking about camping, and so we need to look for a campsite, someplace that's flat and has a lot of wood because we want to build a fire. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> All right, let's check this place out. Well, this looks pretty good. It's not super flat, but I think it's flat enough. And we got piles of wood up in the trees and uh, we can burn that. So uh, let's start gathering some wood for fires. All right, guys, where are we gonna build our fire? Right. Yeah, right there looks pretty good, doesn't it? All right. Oh boy, I turned my back for one second and he falls out of a tree. Jeez. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. <laughs> Real simple trick here. I've got cotton ball soaked in Vaseline. I put one underneath there, put one on the end of a stick, and then I use my flint and steel to go and ignite the one, and then get it under there. We've got a decent little fire going. We'll let that mature and uh, we'll be cooking a little bit. Then. Well, the biggest white water on this whole trip is a set of class three rapids called the squeeze And I was a little vague on where it was but as I'm sitting here bah, There it is. That's the entrance to the squeeze. So uh, looks like first thing in the morning We're gonna be taking uh, this raft down some class three rapids. That's gonna be fun. I'm you, excited. Yeah, you want to go to the squeeze? Yeah, yeah. All right, we're gonna boil some water, get dinner going here. What's wrong with you guys? All right, boys, why don't you come over here and show me what you wanna eat for dinner tonight. We have Italian style pepper steak and noodles and chicken. Time to eat our meager catch. Oh, 
All right, we're gonna try eating fall fish tonight. Here. Nathan, you like your chicken noodles? Hold on, let me... There you go. Woo. Fix, it fixed it for you. All right, there we go. Italian pepper steak. Our little fall fish is coming along nicely. All right, who wants to eat some fish? Me. You can take a little bit of skin off or it's got a lot of bone. <laughs> you grabbed a piece with a lot of bones in it. Mm. What do you think though? Does it taste any good? Yeah. Pretty nondescript. Tastes like many other white fish I've eaten. Could just as easily be a grayling. Mm. The skin's pretty good. Whoop. Would you guys like some hot chocolate? Yeah. There's your oh, you guys like that hot chocolate? Uh -huh. All right. Okay. You guys are gonna be so warm. You guys are dressing for winter camping. You wanna watch a movie? Uh -huh. Yeah. All right, let's watch a movie. Oh, cold, wet shoes. Oh, the worst. Tommy, you wanna stay there until I get the fire going? <laughs> We're gonna mix it up a little bit. I got a package of birthday candles here and uh, we're gonna use that to start the fire. Happy birthday to me. There you go, a little birthday candle fire. Tommy, are you having a good time? Yeah. Are you glad you came? Yeah. You know what? My favorite thing about camping is like it's so good. We got chorizo flavored spam today. We're going to give that a try for breakfast. Ooh. No. Who wants to try the chorizo spam? You know, it tastes it tastes like if you mix chili with spam. Yeah, that's what it tastes like. It smells like chili too. I know, that's what Do you like it, Tom? Yeah, it's kind of spicy. Let's see your uh, your fork and knife. Look at this. Nothing screams America like a folding fork and spoon set. Look at that. Here's the cool part about it. You go like this and boom, Whoa, it comes apart. Then you, your utensils come apart. Dinner transformer. Yeah, look at that. There's Nathan's folding fork and spoon set. All right, guys, you ready to go down the squeeze? Yeah! Oh. Oh, hold on, boys! Yeah. Woo. Here we go, Tom! Eat your face! What'd you think of that, Nathan? Love it! I love it! Well, maybe we'll have to do some more whitewater rafting in this thing, okay? Yeah! But this raft is so big, it just kind of, uh, and it doesn't matter which direction you go down, you just, <laughs> you just go down and hold on. And the only thing you have to worry about is hitting the trees and having sweepers knock your gear off. Yeah, this is perfect, but you just. I thought it was a rail bend. Oh, today is lovely. It's sunny, it's warm, and no wind. That wind was killing us yesterday. Oh, this is going to be great. I see a big rock. You see that thing? It's just so cool seeing that big rock. Dom, are you swimming? 
I'm just holding on. Yeah, kick and be my boat motor. I love this thing. The draft on this is so shallow. Did you like that? Yeah! <laughs> I think the boys just discovered their new favorite thing, whitewater rafting. <laughs> Guys, you want me to go swimming? Yeah, 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 yeah. You ready? Bud. Oh, check this out, guys. It's a look, leech. It's a leech. The one that's stick doing your hey, look blood. At, look at that. It's a leech. Here you go. So one of the key techniques is putting your feet in the dead center. When the feet are in the center and you push any direction, the raft moves in that direction. If you stand on the edge, the raft will spin. The more centered you are, the less of your energy gets put into spinning and more into steering. Right now it's too deep to use the pole, so you can just kind of use it like a kayak. It actually works really well. Caught a lot of smallmouth bass last time I went here, but this is... Good cast, buddy. You're getting better at that. Ready? Here we go. Wow! What a heck of a way to travel. This is so nice. I gotta tell you what, I am really pleased with this inflatable dock so far, and I definitely think we're gonna be doing some more trips like this. This is just too much fun. If you guys wanna learn more about this thing, uh, I'll put a link in the description to their website. You guys can check it out. Yeah! yeah. 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 You ready, Tom? Ready? Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. Let's go here and we'll make lunch here. All right, guys, this looks like a good spot as any to, to make lunch. Do you guys find a nice little swimming hole? Yeah. All right, while the boys are swimming and playing, I am gonna prepare Nathan's favorite meal, cup of noodle. There we go. While that water's boiling, let me show you something cool. See all these rocks down here amongst the trees? This is a big bend in the river. And when the river floods, the water and current come straight through these trees and it acts like a sieve. So all the debris and stuff that gets washed into the river gets stuck up in here. Look at all this stuff. Yeah, it's a soccer ball. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Look at this. This is just a mountain of flotsam. And there's like another soccer ball or something over there. Look at this, how far it goes. Last week, the water was 16 feet deep. And so where you were standing was underwater. The river was flowing right where you're standing and all this stuff hit up against the trees and got stuck here. That's how it ended up in this big pile. Look at this, look at the size of that stump, man. That thing's huge. This, this is why you cannot be on the river when it's flooding because you'll end up getting washed into these forests and then you get stuck in there, you never come out. Uh, nothing keeps these boys more entertained than playing in the water. <laughs> you guys like your swimming hole? Yeah. <laughs> well, the boys are really complaining about being hungry, so I pulled over and I made them their, their favorite thing. And uh, they haven't eaten, they're just over there fishing. <laughs> best part is they're just getting along and having a good time together as brothers. It's the best. They need a little bro time. I'm just going to sit here and eat my food and let them do their thing. All right, guys, you ready to go? Yeah! All right. Hold on tight! Oh, 
this has been fun. Sure hope our good weather holds out. We may or may not get some rainstorms here in a few hours, so we'll see. Look at those haunted trees, guys. Look at those. Those things are creepy looking. Oh, look at that one. You can hide inside. You can like take a bath inside that tree. Look at that yep, tree. That is hollow. Yeah, look at that. Look at that huge thing. I wonder how high you can climb up inside that thing. Uh, oh, I think over there to the left looks good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so much fun, and it takes zero skill in this thing. Just <laughs> do we gotta jump out of that tree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Nathan, you excited to try that? Oh, you want to try that, Tom? <laughs> All right, you want to get my back? Okay. Okay, you gotta hold on. Is this high enough or you want to go higher, Nate? <laughs> you want to jump? Just jump right off of there. There you go, buddy. Nathan, was that fun? Yeah, that's your turn. It's my turn? Oh, I thought I was just carrying Nathan up. Oh, yeah. Don't follow me. Goodbye. Did you like that? Yay! You want to swing on the swing? <laughs> okay, go, Tom. Oh, you're over the water. Ooh. Oh, better let go, Tom. <laughs> I think I see it. That's her pullout spot. Go, Ward. Well guys, did you have a good time? Yeah! <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as we enjoyed making this video. Don't forget to check out our other videos, including our floating fishing cabin video, our abandoned uh, island camping video, and a lot of other stuff. I'll put links in the description. Don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button so you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching. Woo! We got off the river just in time, boys! This is 